Hi, in this video I'll walk through the new sample modeling solo on ensemble strings virtual instruments. The package includes four solo string instruments, violin, viola, cello, double bass, and five ensembles, first and second violins, violas, cellos, and double basses. This folder contains the same five ensembles without contact reverb. After loading any instrument, whether solo or ensemble, you need to initialize it by sending the CC, continuous controller, controlling the dynamics, usually CC11, otherwise the instrument will not play. This CC must be sent from your MIDI input devices or from a sequencer. Moving the corresponding knob will not do. The instruments respond to external CCs. Moreover, all CCs are mirrored in separate pages of the user interface, loadable via drop-down menu. All controllers and settings are accessible within this menu. Let's walk through it. Main menu is actually the starting menu page where you can visually monitor input MIDI controller showing whether a keyboard, a wind controller, or a breath controller is selected as a MIDI input device. Play mode, playing position on the fingerboard, played articulation, velocity mapping. The velocity response of many keyboards is not linear. To compensate for this and to obtain an even more natural response, you can activate the calibration procedure by pressing this button. Then, hit many keys at random velocities, trying to cover the whole velocity range. The graph is updating. When you notice that no new velocity bar appears anymore, disable calibration. To activate rescaling according to the graph, click on Mapping. You may also correct the curve with your mouse. Right-clicking and dragging enables drawing straight lines. Expression Mapping Expression mapping is similar to velocity mapping. It rescales the CC used to control expression according to the displayed graph. You can draw, modify, and smooth curves. Rescaling is activated by clicking on the Active button. In most cases, it's okay to leave it linear, but sometimes you will need some correction, especially if you use a wind or breath controller. For example, if the input device tends to reach the upper limit too easily, you can just bend the upper part of the curve. Pitch Bend Mapping The default pitch bend range is plus or minus one semitone, and this is perfectly suitable in most cases. In some particular case, one may need to rescale the pitch bend. This is carried out by acting on the button Sense. When it is set to zero, the pitch bend is totally disabled. When set to 300, the range goes up to plus or minus three semitones. More extreme settings are possible in the menu Wind Controller. These settings might be very helpful when using particular MIDI hardware, like Rolly keyboards, instrument, MIDI guitar, or a wind controller, and need high sensitivity to the pitch bend data. And again, you can draw it with a mouse. Right-clicking and dragging enables drawing straight lines. Controller knobs. Let's go through all these menu pages, except timbral shaping and microtuning, which will be explained later in a separate video. To play in real time, it's highly recommended to use a physical controller like an expression pedal or other devices to control the dynamics. It's generally recommended to use external physical continuous MIDI controllers. Their values will be reflected by all the virtual CC knobs in the instrument user interface. Alternatively, these virtual knobs can be controlled by the mouse without external controllers. Please note, however, that the external controllers always take over, that is, the settings will be immediately updated as soon as an external controller is sent to the instrument. CC11. This CC and the corresponding knob control the dynamics from pianissimo to fortissimo. CC11. 
CC1, typically the mod wheel, controls vibrato intensity. CC19 controls vibrato rate. CC26 controls note on attack duration. Please note the difference in the evolution of dynamics at different settings. CC26 also influences the duration of legato transitions and portamento. High values of CC26 and low velocity of the overlapped note yield long portamentos lasting one second or more. CC27, note off release duration. To better hear the changes, I'll turn the reverb off. CC21, amount of the bow noise from minus 6 to plus 6 dB. CC22 Overtones CC25 This controller, if set to its default value of 127, controls the amount of the crescendo ramp at the beginning of each note. This crescendo begins at the dynamics level corresponding to the note on velocity and ends at the incoming CC11. The duration of this crescendo ramp is dictated by note on velocity and by CC26 as explained before. If you prefer to play the attack without any initial crescendo effect, set this controller to zero. This is generally best avoided except when using breath or wind controllers when the user prefers to directly shape the ramps. Partial settings are also possible. CC23, Vibrato Delay Time. It's quite common that when playing a string instrument, the vibrato does not enter immediately but fades in gradually. Please note that even if using this automatic vibrato fade-in, the player can immediately take over the full control without any delay by simply acting on the CC1 directly. In this case, an immediate takeover takes place, so any change of the vibrato intensity will be performed with no delay. CC24. In the real instrument, sudden dynamics changes elicit consensual pitch changes due to the increased or decreased tension applied to the string. With this controller, you can set the amount of this effect. CC28. Attack Detuning. This knob sets the amount of random detuning at the very initial attack and the average pitch of the note. CC33 controls the amount of pitch fluctuations of sustained notes mimicking the instability of bow pressure and speed of the real player. CC5 Portamento Time. This knob by default is disabled and the duration of portamento is controlled by note velocity. 
but if you want to use this controller, go to the Portamento time page. Here you can set the proportion of velocity and CC5. Now Portamento time is controlled by only CC5. This is a useful setting when playing a device sending constant velocity, which is not fully under player control, like a wind controller for example. CC100. Here you can choose a different timbre by switching between various body impulse responses. The last IR, CC100 at maximum, yields a consordino sound. Virtual Sound Stage A special early reflections impulse response has been developed to place a dry sound in an acoustic space. CC29 The intensity of early reflections can be controlled with this knob. If set to zero, the early reflections will be disabled. This is, however, best avoided unless one is using his own ambient setting, including early reflections. CC31, pre-delay. CC10, panning inside the virtual space. And CC14, distance. Reverb. Solo strings include a high-quality convolution reverb. Reverb is controlled by the following CCs. CC34, intensity of the reverb. CC35, length of the IR used for the convolution reverb. CC36, reverb pre-delay. CC98, reverb IR from the smallest to the largest ambience. Please note that the internal reverb in solo instruments can be disabled by setting CC34 to 0. This is however not recommended unless one is using his own ambient setup. CC remapping. These menu pages allow remapping of all controllers to any other MIDI controller. Transpose. This knob allows a transposition up to plus or minus 36 semitones and the key switches will be transposed as well. To play a bichord, press two keys simultaneously within 25 milliseconds. The bichord feature allows even playing legato in various ways. For example, with two voices by playing the upper and the lower line simultaneously. Or with one voice only if the key playing the other voice remains pressed. Now let's go through key switches. The key switches can work in two modes momentary and latch. If you press a key switch with low velocity, then it's active as long as you hold it. But if you press it harder, you can release it and it will remain active until another key switch of the same type is pressed, or until you press it again with low velocity. You can also return to the default situation by pressing the default key switch C, or by using the panic feature, that is pressing any three key switches together. All string instruments are using the same key switch assignment. B activates the microtuning presets. I'll talk about it in my later videos. C, the instrument returns to the default mode. C sharp, poly mode, in this mode multiple notes can be played simultaneously without legato transitions. It's necessary for playing realistic arpeggios or broken chords. D plays detaché or bow change if playing the same note repeatedly. The same can be obtained using the sustain pedal when active 
the note keeps playing after releasing the key until the next note is played. The duration of the bow change and detaché depends on velocity and CC26. D sharp applies an expressive crescendo on each new legato note. E tremolo CC11 controls the dynamics, CC19 controls the tremolo rate. F pizzicato F sharp colegno G harmonics G sharp allows open strings otherwise not used in the default setting. A sets the instrument to play in low position, default key switch. A sharp plays higher positions whenever possible. C. It uses the highest positions whenever possible. It's available only for solo violin. And now let's go through the ensemble patches. The controllers of the ensemble patches are almost identical to those of the solo instruments, with some exceptions. What's very important is the need to use the button Synchronize Ensemble each time you do any changes on the instrument interface using the mouse, otherwise the ensemble will not work properly. This is indicated by the warning, Please Synchronize Ensemble. After clicking on the button Synchronize Ensemble, the warning disappears. Please note, however, that all settings done with external controllers or MIDI tracks in a host do not require any synchronization. The ensemble synchronizes automatically, so no warning will be displayed. CC95 controls the size of the ensemble from small to large. CC1 controls ensemble vibrato of the random type, all musicians playing vibrato out of sync. CC99 adds some synchronous components to the vibrato and makes it more intense and expressive. Unlike solo instruments, the reverb for ensembles is placed outside the multi in the output section of contact. It can be accessed here. If you prefer to use your own reverb, you can bypass the convolution and set the reverb return level down to zero. Alternatively, you can load the dry version of the ensembles provided in a separate folder. The width and position of each ensemble can be controlled by these knobs on the Virtual Soundstage page. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>